15. Yeah, like every vessel is filled. There's like not a patent vessel here. Every single vessel is packed full of thrombus, right? I mean, it's crazy. Yeah. Like there's a good one, yeah. So that combination makes me think of a couple of things. The one that we really think of classically is like a levamisole contaminated cocaine. Um, I think you can get it in septic vasculitis too. Um, so those would be the two things that I think of. Yeah, right away when I see lots of fibrin thrombi, and oftentimes there'll be ischemic change of the skin. Surprisingly, this does not show any ischemia yet that I can appreciate. So maybe they caught it really quickly, but there is numerous, uh, numerous fibrin thrombi plugging up the vessels, tons of hemorrhage. And then um, even though these are classically supposed to be, the levamisole vasculitis is supposed to have vasculitis plus thrombi. The, I feel like the cases I've seen, the vasculitis part is kind of subtle. Like it's not tons of neutrophils. And I don't know if that's just that I happen to see a couple cases that look that way. Um, I guess I should probably read up on it more and see maybe that's classic. But but yeah, lots of fibrin thrombi and the vessels are damaged and beginning to get necrotic, but there's not a ton of neutrophils in this case. And again, I, I the most recent one that I saw was the same way. It didn't have a, a lot of neutrophils, but definitely did have vascular damage. So different than other like, um, uh, like fibrin thrombi systemic coagulopathy situations. So definitely the, these patients need to get tested for cocaine and a, and a good clinical history, which sometimes is hard to elicit that they've been using cocaine and that levamisole is used as like a cutting agent in uh, um, uh, cocaine sometimes and that induces this process and then people get the black black or purple eschars or, or dying in ischemic uh, tissue like on the tip of the nose or the ears classically, right? Um, the kind of distal sites like that. And uh, you can see why they get that ischemia because all of their vessels are packed full of thrombi. And you're right, you could think of other things like septic emboli. Uh, the rare times I've seen that, it was not so numerous. It was like a couple emboli. Again, I don't know, I, have, I don't see that very often. So, so, but yeah, it did look kind of like this, but it was more limited to just a few vessels. And I find that in septic emboli, again, the few I've seen, it's actually, even though there are supposed to be organisms in the thrombi, quite hard to find them, even with careful looking and serial sections and and doing, uh, you know, gram stain, I find that the, the bacteria are really sparse and hard to see most of the time. So, um, and that's what I've been told by other people with a lot more experience than me too. But this is levamisole vasculopathy from cocaine use. Oh, and I would also want, uh, would definitely keep mixed cryoglobulinemia in my thought right here too, because it can give you that similar look and have the vascular damage with it. So I would definitely uh, can put cryo in my differential.